Hello, guys and gals, me, Mudahar, and uh, this is the Some Ordinary Podcast, and, okay, dude, I gotta really turn off this test. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> hey, keep that one. It's almost yeah, as good as my intro. <laughs> we'll, keep, we'll keep that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too lazy to record a second intro, so this is my co-host, Nux Taku, from Yo! Israel, and Upaville, Yo! from the cult lands of Texas, mm-hmm. as well as our special guest, Jay Aubrey. Hello, I don't thank want to you for having you. me. Well, it's a pleasure to have you, our friend. Pleasure it's to have to you. No, it's good to be well, here. Well, honestly, might... I thought you hated me for some reason, so this is great. Really? <laughs> Why'd you yeah. think that? Yeah, uh, we gotta spend like the first two minutes getting all the, getting all the, <laughs> no. we gotta get all the hate out I of mean, here. My <laughs> first interaction was on Twitter or something, like I saw your Kanye West video like years ago. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh, that video was cool. And you're like, oh, hell yeah, man. And then you follow me and I follow you back. Yeah. And then you just unfollow me like two weeks later. Really? Like, oh, okay. Dude, that's I why I don't unfollow people because it always triggers drama. I, I'm pretty sure I don't. I remember, I remember like speaking briefly about the Kanye video. I don't. I, I feel like if I unfollowed you, I probably did it in mass. I was probably unfollowing a lot of people, and I just forgotten about our interaction. I think at that point, and you're like, what the hell is this NFT in my follower list? Yeah, probably. I don't know, yeah. but yeah, it's hexagon not, it's profile person. picture trash. <laughs> Silence, hexagon. <laughs> You're right. Speaking of NFTs, all those poor monkeys got stolen. Did yeah. you guys see that? Yesterday? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I know. That's... I like that. I had a, I did a little dance. I was very happy about that. I like the moment I saw that. I had like the biggest smile on my face. Like same. it was the same smile I had when I first learned how to drive. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> yes. wow, God bless <laughs> these fucking. It's it's kind of weird because it's like you get a bunch of like m- most. Uh, Ponzi scheme buyers, okay, because it is what it is, and they end up getting fucking rug pulled and scammed by other scammers. It's like mm-hmm. a human centipede of scam that just fishing. happens. Yeah, yeah, it's fishing a with fishing a attempt. They get money taken away, and that guy puts like two point seven million into like some Bitcoin mixer, and that's he's free out. Like he's gone. He's completely safe. So yeah, it's uh, and listen, all right, if you're gonna spend thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars why don't they buy those 60 dollar like cold wallets and just like Mm -hmm. store that somewhere safe like you have these expensive assets we'll call them all right let's i don't (laughs) don't want to get into i don't want to get into the technicals but uh (laughs) it ain't why don't you buy (laughs) fucking hard why don't you buy the base minimum you have to like secure your investment so to speak Uh, even Uh, i have an actual physical wallet and yeah. I don't even have any crypto. And you buy ass coin or you buy like cum coin. Yeah, I buy, shit I buy like shit that. coins. I make, I make quarter, a quarter of a million dollars a night and lose it. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Fun hobby. A night. That's a, that's, a, that's a crypto vibe though. Like you just, you have to, you have to have one blow up and you're like, it can go higher than oh. 5,000 X. I feel like crypto it and does. TikTok both suck you in the same way. It's like with crypto, you'll make 250 grand and then lose it. And with TikTok, you'll get like that one video with like 20 million views and like, yo, I can make it as an influencer now there's this guy i follow on twitter that posts the most obscene tiktok threads that you'll ever find (laughs) i know you guys follow him too i know you guys i I know you i can't remember the name but i think some of you guys know exactly what i'm talking about it's like the one thread where like my morning coffee i was like sipping it and like i see this guy with down syndrome like doing the macarena but he's got the in the background oh yeah i was like what the fuck am i watching (laughs) and then like you just keep going down the thread and it's just like a fucking yeah i think i I I know which one you're talking about it's like reading the morning newspaper yeah i was debating that was the one time that was like the one out of five videos i've ever conceived and never made because it's uh, like, I wanted to do like a try not to laugh challenge. And I'm like, this video is only going to be like five <laughs> seconds long. Like, I'm going to lose. Like, and, then, and then it was also like, oh, this person has a crippling affliction. And I'm like, I feel like the asshole for like, I was about to go on like, I, am I the asshole? Like, I was about to ask, am I, am I a bad person for laughing at the misfortunes? They posted themselves on TikTok, okay? Like, I didn't ask them to post it. Right. They did it themselves, right? Like, I'm not the bad guy, you know? That's what always blows me away is that people will film something like that and then watch it back. Be like, this is good. This is good mm-hmm. to post. And then just put it out yeah. there and expect people not to make fun of it. No, but when That's yeah. Is, like, some things survive on the internet. And you're like, why would they post that? That's like totally not okay. And then there's us who get demonetized with like timestamps for our demonetization. Oh, yeah. YouTube mess. I got a video demonetized and YouTube messaged me 
that at seven minutes and fifty nine seconds into the video, I said "dick," and that's why it's age restricted. What Are you can't? It's age seven restricted minutes? because of that. Age that's restricted. That's insane. Yeah, that's insane. Hopefully, they don't watch any of my videos. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what I hate too. Because sometimes I'll say like the fuck a few times too many i don't even know how many times is too many and it's like right uh you've been age restricted like give us a number am i only to say like six times throughout the videos or like a percentage (laughs) ratio you want like no yeah exactly i mean i see my videos that i never expect to get age restricted always get age restricted and the ones that i expect are like fine so i never i never know what to like you know, I never know what's going to happen. video get age restricted? Not yet, but I've had instances. <laughs> I'm kind of preparing for it. Um, I made sure there was nothing in it that I thought could get it age restricted, but maybe just by it being Belle Delphine, it could, they could still do something. Yeah. My little Tay video got age restricted like four days in. So that just That's like the, the little girl real estate, right? Like yeah. That, yeah. You know. And I think that one was probably because there were too many curse words. Um, but I tried to censor like as many as I could. Like I, I have no, it would be really helpful if they could tell me what actually gets it age restricted specifically. I, I but think they have to like, keep it vague. They thrive on the ambiguity of it. They're Absolutely, like, okay, yeah. they'll age restrict something and then you'll talk to them and then they'll think to themselves, well, no, this didn't really need to get age restricted, but now I need to come up with a reason why we didn't actually screw up. With the yeah, past. exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, speaking of censorship, like that's, uh, er- I know that you did the EDP video as well, yeah. too. So it's like, I know when it comes to censorship, that guy is like the hardest person to deal with. <laughs> yes, Anytime absolutely. you cover a video on him. Yeah, that video. Mine got age restricted probably a week in, I think. And then the views just completely went down from there. But have you had yeah. the same problem? For me, no, I didn't get demonetized because EDP actually like made me like, create macros for my editing software mm-hmm. so anytime i do an edp video i have like an entire profile like the edp mode literally on my computer where it's <laughs> really? like wow. yeah so it's like every time like i'm covering him talk like i have a i have a few commands that just macro in like you know block like swear blocker so every time he talks it's like fucking i'm just like tapping a key every time it's like fuck. <laughs> the, Phil- the, the philadelphia genius, yeah. i'm like god this guy like he's smart is swearing so much that like I eventually looked at like how much time I was putting into like manually editing. I'm like, dude, I got to come with a better solution. That man made me not be lazy. That's yeah. how fucking amazing EDP <laughs> wow. is. You know what I mean? Like that guy's wow. presence His influence. Made, yeah. Yeah. He, it, he influenced me to be fucking productive. That's Who amazing. Like, the cupcake influenced would have affected you. So. I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's speaking of uh, speaking of EDP. Have you guys ever sent a picture of your shit to anyone? No, I can't say. I um. <laughs> Oh, I gotta remember that one real quick. <laughs> I did yesterday. I did yesterday. Oh, I put one in the chat right now. I did chat. once in college. Once. Did you actually? Yeah, same. Yeah, once. Okay. It was like it was well, it was on Snapchat because like we had a Snapchat group back in college and like sometimes we'd have like this one guy that like every like other day would just like stand in front of the mirror and like post him and his like dick out. Like just like cause you wouldn't no, be able okay. to check it, right? You'd like open yeah. up the Snapchat yeah, exactly. like in public and it's like this dude's like he, like he always like he fired Sorry. the flash on his phone so his face was censored out because you couldn't see it because of the flash but it was like fucking cock was out there like and this man had a big cock like you know what i mean like the first thing your He's eyes happy left to flaunt to, it yeah very happy to <laughs> flaunt it and you know i'm very happy to say That's that you had a big cock like you got an elephant trunk bro i'm gonna say you have one okay like it is what it is right like god gave you a fucking sledgehammer <laughs> down there congratulations big old pp yeah and then like so eventually after a while i was like you know what fuck you i'm just gonna post my like shit and you're gonna have to say and then i posted that shit to the snapchat group and i'm like oh dude the other 30 people can see this this is like a direct you know hit as i expected it was like you know everyone yeah. just kind of like it was it was an icy it's, it's an icbm that went off and it, like everyone else to mm-hmm. fucking suffer it like it hit the intended target no doubt but like yeah, everyone else. The, the Mudahar Moab. Yeah, the old expect, Moab. <laughs> Do you ever expect to talk about that five years later in reference to like shit picks as a conversation topic? Dude, I, I didn't expect to talk anything about engineering five fucking years later. This is this is, this is the best part about engineering college. It's like you just find like absolute other types of de- – everyone in that f- program is a degenerate. Like I don't even care. Like, I'm a degenerate. Everyone else was a degenerate in the program. So it's like er- – like at some point, that's all you're gonna have to do. Okay, like that's that's pretty much like how you survive. I would say engineering school is like tantamount to prison. Okay, like it's like it's a four year prison sentence. Okay, that's all it is. <laughs> you're literally just locked like school up. School in general. No, but I feel like other programs are better in a lot of ways. Like I give a lot of shit to like 
arts programs and everything. But I feel like if you're in like an arts program or so, like a lawyer, like, you know, political science or like medical, you have an infinitely cooler time. Okay. Computers are just sitting over there. Your professor doesn't give half a fuck. You don't give half a fuck. No one gives half a fuck. <laughs> Like, I remember an economics professor, like, you ask him about something at the campus, and, like, you're not even in his program, but this dude's eyes, like, light up. Like, it's his first time having sex. He's talking about economics. And you go to your, like, you go to your, like, network teacher in, like, fucking school, and they're like, dude, I just show up because it's a fat bag if you catch oh, my drift. Oh, dude, okay? yeah. <laughs> I had professors that would just straight up say they, they have other jobs, and they're just doing this for beer money. Which I can respect. <laughs> so I admire good, that. You should be like, oh, what kind of alcoholic are I, you? I like, what fucking beer money is this? <laughs> right. I mean, these are like film professors. I had one. I had one professor that was like, the first day of class, he asked us what class this was. He didn't even know. He just showed up and exp- he didn't know what he was like showing up for. And that's always the best. Oh, it's yeah. like that's when you know you just definitely couldn't. That's like they 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 didn't even know how to get to the college that day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somehow they found their way in but. they like sat in their fucking you know maserati like typed in the yeah. college it's like oh there's like four branches if i don't show up with the right one i'm going home <laughs> like this yeah exactly <laughs> I think that's a, that's a that's a college story for everyone though but you know this is why i'm glad to be a dropout myself because it's like now i can at least at least when i go to like family gatherings and shit because everyone over there is like a fucking master's degree mm-hmm. and i'm like the only one that shows them like hey, i got i didn't even i didn't even graduate <laughs> but uh <laughs> hey guys yeah. it's me some ordinary gamers check my twitter by uh, my tinder bio man it's fucked up that they know me now and it's because of like the rule 34 shit they found on the <laughs> internet like, <laughs> what, what? You're kidding. Yeah. Well, they how saw did, a picture how? of me. Well, there's this photo of me floating around on the internet of like me dicking down in a sorry from Mass Effect. And it's like really in depth. It's like that. I <laughs> shit. Yeah. I've seen it. It's like, and it's like x ray, like mm-hmm. fucking penetration. It's Italian and, uh, Senate tier. Mm-hmm. Exa- yeah, it would show up in the Senate. It's it would show good. up in the Italian <laughs> Senate and be like, if that if that ever showed up in any Senate, I could <laughs> die happy. Okay? Like, I could legit die happy. Dude. But like, Canada soon. <laughs> Canada soon. Oh my God. But like, but like, yeah, that's the one image. Like, everyone in the family saw. Graham Graham saw that no, shit. Dude. Yeah. How did she find it? Uh, my grandma can barely use the internet. Well, once, uh, once the other kids started seeing it, the image floated around, and Grandma, she's part of a WhatsApp group. Once it hits oh, the WhatsApp group, yeah, that's oh. that's dangerous. It just float yeah. into the WhatsApp group. Yeah. Yeah. On 4chan. Oh God. <laughs> on four tragic oh god yeah oh god i hope she never showed up on their shit <laughs> but yeah grandma's on okay buddy <laughs> grandma just fucking shit posting pictures of her grandson i feel like now i feel like that's our generation though like if i'm 75 78 like 80 years old or something i'm gonna be on like 16 chain in the future shit posting you know about like mm-hmm. my shitty grandkids and their shitty activities and you know fucking <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be on like r slash senior citizen r slash sc or something or like 4chan slash sc senior citizens <laughs> or some shit, <laughs> shit just talking your grandkids yeah yeah just came back from social security <laughs> office my fucking kids on tiktok <laughs> dancing around <laughs> <laughs> fucking brain dead kid <laughs> No, but I feel like that's mostly like what's uh, social media is like really stupid though. Like I feel like when we were growing up with like, well, YouTube was like basically TikTok back then, right? Like in terms of popularity, so yeah. much more cooler. And, like with YouTube, it's like what I never got is like you have so many ways to like create content on YouTube, right? Like you, everyone over here makes different types of content in comparison to other people. Like we all have our own styles. With TikTok, it's like everyone that's blown up there literally just dances. Like I don't. I don't really like the most unique shit I've ever seen on TikTok was this one like um Macarena dance in front of us. That's very unique. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Took the and you say they have yeah. no <laughs> and how could you say that? That that's a, actually no not now that actually is the most unique thing. I had like I had this one like other uh this like black guy. I forget it's just like KB Lake or something or and he was just like KB Lane. Yeah, he's, he K, exactly. Oh, and he was just yeah. like he does all the Facebook tips and tricks shits and he's yeah. like here's how the here's the here's the normal like <laughs> god intended way to do it. And I'm like oh, I, that's kind of funny. And the other shit was like when kids were breaking and entering through the front door. 
<laughs> yeah, when I saw that, I was like, boy, I hope they don't do this shit down in Houston or something. They're, they're meeting you with a 12 gauge, but go for it, I guess. I like the uh, cartel talks. I like cartel Oh, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, that's great. Cartel shit's cool. It's always yeah. fun when they're driving with like 30 year old Mexican music and they're like pimped out, like armored F 150. And they're like, hey, boys, I just drilled it. Like they got the IQ of like holsters in their car, like next to the gear shift is like their MP5. I'm like, you know, you got to risk. You, I, I, again, YouTube, we don't promote DTO organization. The cartel is no. bad. For anybody watching on YouTube, the drug cartels are bad. In case- and TikTok cartel is fucking sweet. Though. <laughs> yeah. But the cartels themselves are not good. No. Yeah, they're not good. They're, they're, their social no, no, no. media game is a little bit uh, on, the, on, the, on the wild side, if you will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like the Logan Paul of... <laughs> Something uh, of crime know. what <laughs> yeah of crime <laughs> who do you think is yeah. the first dipshit influencer that you think would ever unknowingly collaborate with this with an actual known cartel like okay. influencer so this is tough because you said unknowingly i think I would. Umpa would do it on purpose <laughs> yeah no Umpa would do it, would do it, it on, on purpose, purpose that's sure. why it's not unknowing yeah, like, not he's unknowingly. smart enough to do it on purpose <laughs> i would do it on i, I mean I, I no youtube i don't promote any bad no, organizations i would never do it on purpose with anyone <laughs> I feel like out of the ones that I would expect, it would probably be not the Pauls. Because here's the thing. Like, everyone shits on the Pauls, but, like, they're not dumb. You know? Like, they're not, Mm -hmm. like, unintelligent. Rice gum would 100% do it in a heartbeat. Rice gum, I think, would 100% do it. Everyone that I've ever talked... This is the thing about rice gum that I love. Every of... All of his best friends that I talk to, because we all have, like, a friend circle with that. Every one of them is like, yeah, rice is... He means well, but... That man is not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm like, that's your best friends going on at it. Christ. That's not very nice. (laughs) But I mean, like, I mean, you can't see Nelk doing pranking border control with like an actual cartel shipment. Didn't they get, didn't they get screwed by the cartel though once? Because they were like, they did a fake, yeah, they did a, I, they have a video on their channel. So like. Let me see it. Nell co-prank. Oh, yeah, Nell co-prank Mexico. They had one out there. So basically, they uh, I think they were on the border and they were smuggling coke, I think, into oh. Mexico or or into Mexico, I'm pretty sure. So the coke was just like cans of coke in their back like seat, like uh, in their trunk. And uh, I think the Nell Kyle or whatever, he's like, bro, okay, I'm sorry, bud. We we have, might have some cocaine in, in, in the back. Like, we might have some coke, bud, in the back. And the Mexican cops, like, check it out. And it's, these are the same Mexican border cops that are actually cartel operatives. <laughs> and they're like, okay, all right, calm down there, senior Kyle. Let's go into the back of there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they're the, they're the one cops you didn't want to get, you know, fleeced by, and they did. That's insane. Yeah, but then again, that's like when Nelk was like, I don't think they were because eventually when your product gets this popular, you have to like become, I don't know. I want to say more corporate, but this is like Nelk back when they were like more edgier than they still are. Cause they're still a pretty edgy brand, like regardless of whatever anybody wants to call it. Mm-hmm. But that was, uh, that was, that was them. Yeah. But Nelk is an interesting story. So like my mm-hmm. experience with Nelk was the whole like Rubet thing. And this is where like, I've never met somebody with like, <laughs> such a childlike heart like steve will do it ever because <laughs> like the nelk crew they're smart like i think kyle's a smart guy because he's like one of the like he, he basically runs like nelk in terms of like being the primary like personality uh the ceo smart guy john shahidi and then like you talk to fucking steve will do it and he literally is like <laughs> hey steve how much money do you make a million dollars a month how much do you spend a million dollars a month. <laughs> like, Bro. Oh what, are we going to title this honest, video yeah. shitting on the lowest IQ YouTubers? Is that, is that the <laughs> so sometimes I just like when you talk to some people in the circle, like especially like the Los Angeles influencer side of YouTube, it's like, oh, they're not faking being dumb. They're actually this fucking dumb. Like I used to give them credit. I'm like, oh, okay. Like if I was in Los Angeles, I'd be like, I'd fake being stupid as well. You know, like even more than I do now. And, uh, 
when they when you talk to them, it's like, oh, oh no, this isn't. This is like them. Like <laughs> this is real. <laughs> so, sad. so sad. It's it's like you know when you watch cops, it's like oh, that's probably mostly fake. But like, what if you found out that like cops that was, shit was real the whole right. time? Like <laughs> yeah. there were some dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, that's just fucking Alabama and Tennessee. Man. <laughs> I used to love cops so much. The song, the intro song, I used to sing along with, and then I just watched white trash folks just get fucking arrested. It was awesome. <laughs> that's what that's See, what it was. You just need to look across the street. Be... Yeah. No, actually, <laughs> there's no cops. I show. Oh yeah, you live in like cult no, land. The cult, the cult there's there's a up. field with cattle in it across. So the street. speaking of cops, though, the G4 TV network came back, and like I, I've been. So I've been working on a video regarding G4 TV because I've had their like recent controversies and shit. Because like, I don't know if you watched the whole like G4 TV tirade, like the whole like one of their co-hosts, she was like, and there's like, please guys, don't jack off to me. Okay. Like it was one of those things because they had like one woman entertainer who was like compared to like Olivia Munn and like the previous Mm. G4 people. And uh, a lot of the culture war channels, they spent like four fucking weeks going, what? How dare they talk about not, I will, f- what? <laughs> like some insane like outrage. And then I'm just sitting over there like, can we just agree that G4 TV was like basically never good? <laughs> like even back then? Yeah. I mean, I didn't. Yeah. I learned how to uh, piss hard from an episode oh, of G4. Hell, hell yeah. <laughs> okay. of Attack of the show or Wait, something like that. You learned how to piss hard from it? I what the piss hard. Like, hey, I, was, I don't <laughs> know how old through. I was. I'm trying to keep it brand safe. Okay. Piss hard. Okay. Uh, but imagine your piss is white. Oh, so water. Yeah, you just had like chugged water and like peed, right? I see. What you mean. I, I I think no, a different no, no. type of white no, no. piss, my friend. Oh, <laughs> oh, piss, oh okay, yeah. okay. Not okay. clear. Okay. White piss, right? So is piss even brand safe? Uh, I feel like I'm just not doing a very good job at this. We'll find uh, out, dude. I, <laughs> dude, I, I don't know. I don't, and, it's very uh, off brand, dude. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, Olivia Munn did like a had like a tutorial basically on an, on an episode of Attack of the Show that really stuck in my mind when I was like eleven years old. So you were getting you were getting your sex really ed talk from fucking G four TV yes. from from G four. I was how would you bro. get it my from the Virgin were, Network? Key. Like G four TV is like the biggest <laughs> Virgin Network you'd ever, dude. All I know about G four was like when I came home at four p.m. from school and like I turned on that channel. Adam Sessler was talking about some shitty oh. game on f- fucking some X play was the giant X play was the biggest like shit show of that entire network. Like everyone like jacked off Morgan Webb and like Adam Sessler. I'm like, have y'all ever actually like seen a game reviewed? Like this, this guy would get on TV. He's like, Hey guys, I found a hidden gem for the DS. You wouldn't believe it. Brothers in arms. I'm like, Whoa. dude, no one plays brothers in arms, even on the mainline system back then. Why would I get it on the DS? And Adam would be like, "This this feels like a robust third person shooter." It's like, dude, it's a se- stop, Adam. Okay, you're getting old for you. You're already too goddamn old for video games. Stop it. Like this guy would get on and be like, "We found a hidden gem on the DS. You wouldn't believe it. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. You may not have heard of this game, <laughs> but it's pretty. <laughs> yeah." Kind of underground. Number one best selling. Yeah. DS yeah. Game. It's, it's, yeah. Like, it's, it's so good. I bet in shit. 10 years they'll recreate the same exact game again. And, and, and people would be like, what it. a messiah. <laughs> no, they, they would change them. they make it easier, dude. Come on. No, oh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you got to make it easier right, for they the They add kids. the friendship mechanic where you guys just can't die. Did you see that, by the way? That's a real thing they added. Like, wait, I can't believe it. What? They had they had this thing that if you're like Pokemon gets one shot or whatever, every once in a while, like it has a 10% chance to. Due to the power of friendship, this Pokemon didn't faint. That's so on brand, though, because that's part of the original movie, right? Like, remember the Pokemon where, like, they would fucking cry and, like, Pikachu would come back to life? (laughs) Like, even as a kid, I thought that shit was dumb, (laughs) you know? Like, goddamn. Yeah, I didn't see that shit. I just, when I was a kid watching it, I just wondered what they ate. Did did they they eat the Pokemon? Pokemon? Yeah. In that world, my mom literally pulled a. Is there proof yeah. of well, that's what I. That's what I honestly wonder too. I think I made a video years ago on like the type of Pokemon that I would eat, and yes, I was really high when I came up with that video idea. Well, that's hey, most dude, of mine. Did you see the Markiplier video, the Smasher Pass all Pokemon? Smash, yeah, <laughs> that video is one of my favorite videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Did he do a Smasher Pass for Five Nights at Freddy's? Or something? Not yet. Not yet. He should. <laughs> that would be like his most viewed video. <laughs> I want to know. You think for somebody that basically popularized FNAF, I'd want to know what kind of people mm-hmm. Mark yeah. would fuck in the FNAF universe. 
<laughs> Golden Freddy. Smash. I do- <laughs> I downloaded the so I I got really drunk and bought like the FNAF custom night for like five bucks on my like PlayStation one night. And like I started playing it. I'm like, dude, these kids must be on like methamphetamine to be able to play this shit because it's like you can enable every FNAF character in one map and it's just like the giant hellscape of like trying to figure out every single thing you're supposed to do to try to avoid it. I'm like, dude, I don't understand how you can be a YouTuber for this genre. Like it's like you it's not even an easy video to make because like you got to commentate mm-hmm. on the video while you're basically diffusing a bomb on the on, in the game, right? Like fucking Freddy shows up and you got to remember exactly you got to look away or like close the van or I'm like, dude, no, it's not happening. But like kids eat that shit up. And I have no idea why FNAF succeeded the hardest ever, because like even when you watch all the MatPat videos, it becomes very evident that the lore is shit. OK, mm-hmm. like there is there is no mm-hmm. good lore to a FNAF game. I don't care. Kill me mm-hmm. if for 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 the disagreements. You're getting burned for that one. Yeah, I don't care if I get crucified for that shit. I will die on that cross and say, <laughs> this fucking lore sucks. And then the yeah. game sucks. And the only thing it has is like the shitty jump scares, I guess. And that's pretty much it. I'm like, dude, I back when it came out, and I almost burned some bridges with people in that like creepypasta community because they were like, you know, guys, FNAF feels like this generation's Silent Hill or Resident Evil. And I'm like, whoa. Right. I'm like, okay, guys, chill out with those spicy <laughs> takes there. <laughs> like, well, we get yeah. it. It's paying the, the bills. But like, is, the FNAF lore thing is so funny. Like, Matt, do you see how mu- how many videos Matt Pat squeezes out of FNAF? Like, it's it's, it's honestly impressive. inspiring. Yeah. That I feel like he has a stake in the company, and he just doesn't say it. There's no way that man has like all. <laughs> come on now. There, there's inside. I feel like there's a lot of insider trading going on in the world of inside FNAF YouTube trading. content. There well, is. If, if it was insider <laughs> trading, then they wouldn't have caught him like ripping off like Reddit posts and stuff. Oh, of course he's gonna rip <laughs> on. You think Matt Pat's gonna come back and no, like he, actually he has like research for this stuff? Yeah, exactly. The writers are on Reddit. He just mm-hmm. says Dude, like, come there. Like, all right, here's think, a Google. So I know one of the writers that uh, he had for, like, a Sword Art Online video, an anime video. And, like, you know how he adds jokes? One of the jokes yeah. he added in his video is, like, and not even that lolly over there is sexier than math. And it's like, whoa. What? Whoa. <laughs> oh. He didn't know what lollies are. I've seen that clip. That's he, was, he just straight up read, like, he got someone to write him a script for that video, like an anime YouTuber, and he just read that joke. Oh, my like, God. Like, nothing was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> not even that lolly on the other page and i was like oh god the lo- that's amazing <laughs> he probably i wonder if he knew what it meant or if he just read it and just kind of there's no <laughs> there's way no he way. knew what it meant how the hell would mad pat not know a lolly is right. lolly whatever the hell like come on now come on matt's not like that innocent he's not like that he's not old. i don't know about he that dude it. he's never he's watched, never watched porn, so bro. like i refuse to believe that i'm gonna 100 <laughs> percent like I don't believe a man <laughs> when he says, I've never seen one porn. Dude, you look at it out of pure curiosity, okay? Come on now. Never seen it. Never seen nothing nope. like that. <laughs> Three holes, two holes, <laughs> no holes for me. Wait, wait. So he's, what's his like, come on now. Like he, what is he, is he trying to appeal to the kid audience like that? I, no, no. I think oh, yeah. he's, he's appealing to the kids' parents and to brands. Wait, does Dude, he not even say that? Or he's trying joking? to appear brand No, there's, this is he my favorite that? clip on the internet. He really said that. Oh, Matt Pat's say? saying there, well, I've never watched porn. Uh, but, and you see his wife like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a weird thing clip. to put it's out like, there. It's my favorite clip. Poor guy. It's my favorite yeah. clip ever. He's like, I've <laughs> never seen adult content. That's a no-no. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be a good role model yeah. that's icky i i feel no i bullshit i want to see the car faction that dude's like internet search history <laughs> it's like that's no I don't, I don't count it i bet you because here's the thing i know that when you get to a certain age and you watch that kind of shit you don't even use incognito mode like i don't i don't bother with incognito i don't yeah. care like who's checking my search history god already checked before i googled okay so it's like <laughs> i'm already screwed in that department my mom's not gonna come home it's like all right son give me your phone let me check your search history oh wow you're doing this totally normal thing that most people your age do okay fuck it you're gone mm-hmm. but like that's i don't i don't believe i don't believe that he doesn't do, i don't know it i haven't seen a minecraft youtuber come out and say that dude i haven't seen mm-hmm. fucking dream come out and say all right he hasn't tweeted out it's like hey guys just let you know, I've never Googled the P-O-R-N in my life. Like, that's a no-no. Like, well, I mean, 
This dude definitely did because his thumbnail to like his biggest boobs in gaming video is okay. So <laughs> either either he paid people to look up the porn on his behalf, okay, <laughs> <laughs> or he took the bullet himself. Took the bullet. <laughs> so like, well, like if you paid somebody money, no, dude, he has a lot of porn. How does Luigi measure up? You can't make dude, a video I love that talking video about so much. <laughs> You can't make a video talking about a fucking character's size and not Google ones in your life. Come on now. Like, what is this? Are Smite goddesses too sexy? Yo, Matt was running the game. He knew when YouTube's demonetization was going to come I, in. Matt is By straight the way, up. Never like, he is the ultimate YouTuber businessman, okay? Like, he starts new channels based on, like... You know, whatever could get, be trendy or whatever. He wanted to make music theory, but he didn't because he didn't want to deal with like the DMCA system. <laughs> like mm -hmm. he's been skirting the lines. Dude, I just looked at his one age restricted video. He has one age restricted biggest best boobs in gaming. So and I I'm think, on like three minutes, and he shows he, Lara Croft from the PS One. Dude, uh, you can't jack off to that. It's on the <laughs> fucking. It's hey, hey, them hey, big hey, hey, never seen porn. Okay, he could do it. He could do it. <laughs> Matt Pat's the guy that would like actually would like complain about Tifa in the new Final Fantasy. <laughs> they made her less sexier. Yo, when, when that was when is our collab with Matt Pat and the quartering? I think that would be the oh crossover we all I <laughs> I love the fact that when I saw the quartering, like it was all those channels, it was like the quartering it when Resident Evil 3 was coming out, it's like they put a goddamn he job on Jill Valentine. How fucking dare they? I'm like, damn, dude. I mean, like, I've never I like when I was playing PS1, like even as like well, I guess I wasn't a horny kid back then. That came like during the PS2, PS3 era. You know, that's when the hormones kicked in. It was like, <laughs> three, it was, like three horn levels, you know? So it's like, I wasn't like playing FF7. Dude, I still to this day, and I feel like this has got to be a video I make, like the scientific breakdown of why you can't jack off to Tifa from Final Fantasy VII on the PS1. PS4, PS5, total total babe. You know, they, they have... The graphic artists can do a whole lot with shit nowadays. Okay, they can ray trace some titties. But back in the PS1 days, you can't do it, dude. She looks like she looks like a Habba Hotel character. Last I checked, you can't jack off to a Habba Hotel character. It's not possible. And I, I've tried. Like I've put the actual concerted effort, not happened. Dude, you can sit just, there for thirty that? minutes mm -hmm. and not do it. <laughs> That's, thirty. That's, minutes. You should try. I've made that. It can't for be science. done. Yeah. Yeah, for science. like I can definitively can expel any white pee for science, dude. I can write a peer-reviewed essay of Just not white. succeeding on that one. Okay, like if I can write a university-grade essay of why it's not possible. So when I see all these channels talk about like FF Seven, like ah, oh, they're they're making the characters less sexy. I'm like, I don't know what your definition of less sexy is. Like, is the fact that you're not seeing enough PS One skin? Yeah, they, don't, enough? they don't like tits when they're round. Okay, they like triangular ones. <laughs> <laughs> they like deformed action. Yeah, we don't like them bouncing around dead or alive style. No, we no, need no, them no. like static. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be able to poke my that. eye out on a titty. Dead or alive. You know, surprisingly, <laughs> out of the one thing Rockstar Games has never done, despite making their game worlds look realistic, are boob physics. I've never actually seen a character with boob physics in their games recently. I would not read that too. Physics two. are not as realistic as some games out there. Unfortunately. Well, I mean, like, they gotta have something, you know? Like, they gotta have, like, some action. You're telling me for a company that's designed realistic horse testicles and we're gonna make, like, basic <laughs> boob physics? Like, what? You know what? I'll give it to you. <laughs> yeah, like, like you, you're telling me you got, like, a game designer sitting there whose, like, whole job it is? Like, they're getting crunched every day for, like, 80 hours a week. Make the finest horse scrotum you can. That's their job. That's their that's their contribution to one of the best games of all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> work harder. Like fucking Dan Hauser's walking behind them in the development. He's like, "All right, Steve, I told you a week ago. I wanted them balls looking shiny in 4K for the PS4 Pro version of the game." And dude's like, "I'm trying my best, boss. Okay, but these balls, they ain't getting bigger. They ain't getting flop like." You know that meme with the guy in the office saying, "We need ideas," and the three guys by the table that he kicks out of the window. You know yeah, that one of them. <laughs> it's like we need test the horse balls. Then the other guy is like, "We need boob physics," and kicks him out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what it is, <laughs> dude. Wait, is this a Matt Pat channel? Oh no, it's King of Comparison. Sorry, I was like uh, looking to the side. I like my eye immediately got caught with the title comparison average women breast size by country i was like wow 
that that was a map map map. Video. That, yeah, map it, video. It, it, dude, no, he <laughs> matched. Dude, he matched. Welcome this, to this guy the SEO match. Theory. Theory. He could succeed if he uploaded that on like X videos or some shit. Oh, absolutely. Well, but yeah. he's never gone to X videos. Well, look at this one. Can Dig Dug pop a human? Oh my god, this is really messed up. You click on his video for a second, and it's just like the most. Sc- you know how YouTube like auto plays portions yeah. of the video. I literally like highlighted it and it looked like the worst operations ever. Like, I'm surprised this video has not been like that. That has not been blurred. Although my favorite video from him, and I guess I'll leave the topic on this one is the our GTA five cops racist. Ironically, that was, <laughs> that's crazy. He actually that was a that unique video. video. Cause I, I wanted to know what would happen. Cause like I that's legitimately, yeah. when that happened, I was like, "Wait, is Rockstar yeah. Games brave enough to make Dude. like the police response oh different?" God. Oh fr- my god! It's Franklin in the title. It's Franklin in the thumbnails. So you know exactly who's going. He's Bruh. like, <laughs> no, but it's it's it, so funny. Like I love the game theories that like go like way too far into reality. It's like I think Guy Gene Goomba made a video like our Minecraft villagers Jews or something, <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> I watched that one too. That's crazy. Like, the didn't do that's do that, insane, dude. Minecraft that's quite a theory. Jews. No, it's totally for sure. It's still there. There's no way he took it down, right? I mean, it, it, Notch. He he's yeah, the OG yeah. guy who put him <laughs> in, right? You never know. He's, he's a little sussy. <laughs> I, yeah, the video is gone, but it's replaced fella. by another channel. Adam Smasher time. Minecraft theory, conspiracy theory number one. Ooh. Villagers are Jewish number stereotypes. One. Okay, number one. It's a good one to start off. Well, with, I, I mean, he, he took that. He took down the video, but like there are other channels that are like game yeah. theory thinks Minecraft villagers are Jewish. <laughs> like, oh, I've seen that. I've seen that. that, was that a funny yeah, yeah there's a lot of people who are. Well, it's also yeah. Notch is a very weird, sussy individual. You look mm-hmm. into some of his tweet history, and it's like, mm-hmm. well, when you can't get canceled mm-hmm. for being a billionaire mm-hmm. at this point, like, might as well go off. It's yeah, like Elon good. Musk the other day. He posted Hitler comparisons. Was that yeah. real? Oh my I God, that was I saw fake. that. That was, was that real, real, dude. Are that was kidding? real, dude. Yeah. I, I, I saw your tweets. And then I, I know, tried that... to find his, and it was gone. So I just saw <laughs> screenshots, but I assumed. It was oh, you fucking! <laughs> he pussied out. Yeah, Tesla SpaceX quit. CEO. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is Elon okay. Musk and Whoopi Goldberg having? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're both CEOs. <laughs> yeah, they're both very rich. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that, that's the thing. Well, like, I didn't believe it at first because I was like, oh, does Elon delete his tweets? Is he scared of getting canceled? He doesn't yeah. usually, then, but with no. that one, I guess it was just a little too. A little Dude, too when he saucy, uploaded the, the when he uploaded the that Evangelion on one with the pregnancy test, I'm like, whoa, oh, okay. Elon, <laughs> brother, <laughs> we might need to take your iPhone away for the rest of the night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Dude, he is weird, he's man. Hilarious though. I well, you got to imagine it's like Tesla has like, he's like the CEO. But there's obviously other chief executive officers in like the company. You tell me none of them were like, "All right, I'll get on the private jet, go to Elon's fucking mansion, and like take it away from him." All right, it's a little too much. A little too much. He's been tweeting crazy. So like when, so I had to look through all the news articles for like every, and eventually it led me to Reddit to find like where somebody was like archive.orging is like shit. Like they were archiving like crazy. And then I was like, oh, he really did tweet this shit out. So I'm like, there's no way Elon would tweet. Come on now. And then he deletes yeah. it, which pisses me off more. I'm like, dude, you can't be the richest person in the world. If I was the richest person in the world and I tweeted shit like that out, the last thing I would do is delete it, okay? What do I'd I leave get? It up. Yeah. Retweet tweet it. What are you going to do? If somebody canceled me, I'm like, what are you going to do? Cancel me? I'm like the richest CEO in the world, bro. Okay, I'm going to fucking Mars. I literally have my own planet. Like, eat my ass. Yeah. What? <laughs> Like what do you? Dude, that that's the weakest you, dude. If I was fucking, if I was Elon, I'd be posting like FNAF porn. Okay, mm-hmm. like every time I'd be upload, I'd be like mm-hmm. posting like, I'd be like posting MatPat FNAF like thumbnail like you know Elon Musk jokes and all the time. Okay? Realizing people didn't like his joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like if like I would I would straight up just post. I would be like, listen, you neurodivergence. Okay, like frankly, I can tweet out whatever I want and get away with it. It doesn't matter. All right, I make the I I I make shit that you can't stop buying. Okay, I go to space and back. I don't give a fuck. Like I'd be I'd be like that. 
but he's not even going to be that base. Okay, he's not going to be, be all fair, that wild. Also, so it's like, what's the point? I what's the point of, of having everything it is like, and still caving Hitler in? To Justin Trudeau. Like, he could have gotten hit with, like, a lawsuit or something. He just didn't want to deal with it. True, but, but he, he could have won that, it. though. He'd like, go to Mars. What, what, need to be in court on Earth. <laughs> Dude, the man deals with $200 million <laughs> SEC fines like they're nothing. He's like, whatever, I got hit with a tax bill. Better just fucking give him a billion, I guess. Shit. Mm. What does he care about getting sued? <laughs> It would be funny if Canada, Canada sued Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. Yeah. Yo, yo, you'd have Canada versus Elon yeah. Musk in a private meeting hosted by Keemstar. They decided to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is why I like Kanye more, okay? Because Kanye will post, oh, yeah. like, Civil yeah. War meme posters and not give a shit about, like, whatever. It's like, yeah. here's Civil War, guys, me and Pete Davidson. When I saw that post, Kanye's awesome, dude. I I saw that posted on Twitter. I'm like, there's no way this shit's real. So I'm <laughs> like, it's, oh, it's real. Oh, yeah. he's, he's he's crazy. <laughs> but Kanye and people love is. it. It gets like millions of likes see, too, and he puts that shit out there. It's just like dude, the crazier how does that you feel? are. Like you're like the number like... one Kanye stan probably alive. <laughs> so like, how do you feel about that? Uh it's it's tough being a yeah. Kanye defender. What side are you, you know? on? I feel like I deserve VA benefits at this point, but. <laughs> I think I, I, it's sad to see a little bit because I think he clearly needs help um, and just needs to maybe take a break from posting and and just maybe work in general. He needs but, Keemstar. Um, what'd you say? <laughs> yeah, like Keemstar. He, he needs Keemstar. He needs a private meeting hosted by Keemstar. Yeah, it, like, it, that would definitely. I think that would probably help him out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Actually, speaking of Keemstar, too. the only time I ever like come across that shit too, it's like. I, I swear he got Me? pissed at you, right? A few times, like, yeah. One time, sure. but like, yeah, he didn't. Yeah, he got, he got like every time I see like his, every time I see you ever oh, yeah, shout it out, right? it's, it's like out. in he's the just, most negative he's like fucking connotation. Going off on me, he had like, he's like fuck Jay Aubrey, fuck that guy. I can't. <laughs> it's just it's kind of funny. Like I don't, I I can't remember all of like what he's been upset about. Um, it, I think he got mad that I made some jokes about him in one of my videos one time on Romeo Lacoste. Because he had something to do with that story, um, and he was mad that I wasn't giving him enough respect. Yeah, he sued him. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. He, he won his play, play button, button right? in a yeah. lawsuit. He, which he is won really, a lawsuit. Really yeah. That's crazy. And his tattoo, his tattoo shop. Tattoo I'm shop? pretty sure. I thought he's still working. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Because Keem was telling me it's like, hey, yeah, tattoos are on me. I'm like, I don't know if I want to get tattooed at like Romeo <laughs> Lacoste. Still wor- I, can... the, the <laughs> like. I don't know. I, that I, might, mean, I might I be no wrong idea. on that one. Completely. I mean, maybe that's. I mean, he might not. I, I have haven't been looked left. at Romeo Lacoste's Instagram in a long time. Um, but the last time I did, he was still he was still Isn't working he still there. And he still had though. a pretty decent like following um, if, on if Instagram. If EDP could survive on the internet, then Romeo Lacoste could. Do. Is EDP's TikTok mm-hmm. still up? By the way, I haven't checked. I think so. Because I'm just waiting for it to go down. I was Dude, thinking I about doing a follow up on EDP actually. If it stayed up, it's inevitable. It has to go down. Yeah, but that's what I thought. It's like I mean, I'm just glad that I'm glad that my tweet got taken <laughs> on this thing. Sorry, my my fucking oh, my yeah. tweet. He reposted. It's like I'm back. <laughs> Look at all these. People. I'm like, oh no 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 EDP. Let's Still not go there, up, bro. That, he's what's the what's the what's the, what's the, wait, what's the TikTok again? He's got to have EDP so many people four, four, five, him, right? the How many followers is he at? I don't know, man. The TikTok <laughs> audience is different. Uh, bro, Winnie <laughs> the Pooh don't fucking care. He's <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's like send picture of shit hmm? yeah like like <laughs> um uh, z jinping Bro, over the there two hundred thousand what we got edp <laughs> who's following this dude oh my god that's what i just said dude actually wait also uh caleb he's getting like 226k play i don't know what how many plays matter on tiktok so i don't know like it's more than me i have six hundred thousand on tiktok and i get like 300 to four hundred thousand Per stupid ass TikTok, he's got get way more than that, and he's fucking four days ago. He got a million. People are like hate watching too. Four days yeah. ago, he's viral. He's viral. We need to sign him onto our label. <laughs> the dude has a million. We need to represent him. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's oh my god, horrifying. It's, it's mostly kids on TikTok. I mean, I mean, I mean like that's yeah, probably the most crazy. dangerous platform to, for him to be on. Well, remember, he's only allegedly involved in this guy. True. Allegedly. Very uh, good point. <laughs> Because uh, I, I just love the fact that you can screw up an investigation yeah. so bad that the man can admit to everything. And mm-hmm. I still have to say allegedly. Like, what? How bad? 
do you have to make it? Apparently, he's posting on like Instagram about his. He's back on Instagram. His Instagram hasn't been taken down. His Instagram hasn't been taken down, Dude. and oh, he's okay. changed What's his, his name. And his name. People the, have figured out his name change. The comments on his TikTok is insane. Hey, in parentheses, I'm a minor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's the one thing I pointed out too. I'm like, there's no way these people can like ever get away with it. Yeah, his name has been posted on. He like he changed his name to like a, I don't know if I can even say it for legal stuff. Yeah, he legally changed it, but like people just found out yeah, the fucking name change. And... It was Bryant Moreland before, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it was Bryant Moreland before. Well, very normal guy name. My thing is like he should probably like turn himself in though, because like. If you think about it, it's just. I think he'd have an easier life I mean, if I'm he was arrested. I'm just waiting for the first because, TikTok like, brand deal he gets because that will be hilarious. He's he's yeah, that would be hilarious. Who do you think? Who do you think would give him a brand Channel deal? Channel. No, Probably no, Raid. No, yeah, no, 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 no. cupcakes. <laughs> No, Cupcake good. manufacturer. <laughs> oh, dude, the Cheesecake Factory or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Starts doing commercials. And I know my cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> he knows a lot about cupcakes, man. He really does. What if that's like? What if that's what a company realizes? It's like, oh my god, this man got famous about cupcake. Wow, he must be a cupcake connoisseur. And you know, somebody like he looks like a cupcake connoisseur. Might as well. I wonder what's going on in his mind. Does he think he's a victim? Yeah, probably. For I sure. think because he didn't go to prison, he's probably like one i think his whole thing is like just mentally push through it mm-hmm. and eventually it'll all go away like eventually never give up never yeah. it's an never give he wants up. to be Don't an inspirational stop. story to all cupcake connoisseurs out in the world I mean, that, fair, no matter how hard the man dude, he he looks like a cupcake <laughs> like he, he's that's, really, that's he shaming he's that's shaming to a the man. Role. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. he is very committed to the role i i wonder why he hasn't like hit up all the alternative like social medias and masks like this man could probably Truth. go on Facebook gaming and like just start playing Truth? Fortnite. Mm-hmm. Truth Social? Dude, what about Trump's new... Is, that the is it out? Dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Truth. How about he is a, good, a Trump how supporter. About, how about I mean, I can is. see. I'm, I'm sure it's just a matter of time. Wait, can I can I, can I get that. onto the app? Uh, I think it was crashing yesterday or something, surprisingly enough. I, can I get onto the app with the poor man Android or like... Is it I, I, I probably, yeah, dude. Oh, I'm on their website. It's going to be a while before I... Android's I QAnon's it. phone of choice. Wait, why would they use an Apple phone? Aren't they all against, like, tracking and shit like that? Why the fuck would they use the one thing that, like, <laughs> probably best tracks you than anything? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. They use jitterbugs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys remember yeah. those? Yeah. We call them Dude, fireflies <laughs> here. You can only call your mom or your dad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or America's big... T- yeah. Call 911. Yeah. <laughs> America's Big Ten social media platform. So this is how long do you guys? Is this just mainstream like poll? Like what is this? Is this mainstream four <laughs> chain? Like what the fuck? I want to join in. What was that? Is it one? like Gab? Yeah, I yeah, wanna, yeah. I was trying to think. Of, go. Yeah, it's probably like Gab. I imagine. I'm gonna go speed run getting banned. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Post? <laughs> They'll remove you off the free speech network. <laughs> 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 no, just be over there and be just like sign on there and be like, so guys, uh, as a left leaning, hardcore, blood sucking <laughs> liberal, and before you can even type and post that, they'll probably have you like banned off the platform. <laughs> I do, I do like these platforms though. I love because I'm like I'm apolitical because I personally say that I'm not smart enough to have any like political beliefs. Like obviously I have leanings and everything, but I never get into the political discussion because it's like that's not even my like you know. I'm not good at that. Like, I can't discuss it. It's not like, if it ain't a computer, I ain't smart about it. So I like joining these networks just to see people like get into like massive arguments and bitch fits. Mm -hmm. But what's even better about these ones is when you don't have like the left and the right fighting amongst each other, they just start cannibalizing on each other. It's like, ha, you're not as right wing as you thought. You fool. (laughs) Well, (laughs) you call yourself a capitalist, but you give charity. What's up with that? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, you don't whip your fucking workers? What's wrong with you? Weak, low-level capitalist. Yeah, like you go out like a capitalist is like, so I just paid my employees a bonus, and they're like, ha, ha, amateur hour. He actually pays his employees. <laughs> you know, it's like the Mafia City ads. It's like level one capitalist. <laughs> 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 you got you guys go over there. It's like so. One admiration from the Chinese Communist Party is they really know how to underpay an employee. I've seen people over there making a nickel an hour. And Can I we think- do better, mm-hmm. America? <laughs> I kind of a joke. I actually asked my lawyer for my upcoming business if I could pay people 
a wage, a low, like a under the weight, under minimum wage, but give them tips. It was a joke. He didn't get the joke. He was like, well, you can't do that. <laughs> I was like, I was just joking. I don't actually want to pay my employees two dollars an hour with tips. What if your guy? What if your guy was like, "There's even better ways." What is wrong with you? <laughs> no, that's kind of what I was expecting, bro. He's like an old, uh, old Texas boomer lawyer. Oh, no. So he's like, there are ways where you don't even have to pay them at yeah. all. It's called outsourcing. Yep. You just take advantage of other countries. There's a country called. He's like, he's no, like, oh, Caleb. Okay, let me tell it. you about this country called India. <laughs> <laughs> you can get anything done there. Website called Fiverr, country you called call India. It the, uh, the altered carbon treatment, where we use their services and then we just kill them. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a best that's a sci-fi level of capitalism on that one. <laughs> I want to use Truth Social. I want to get on. Mm-hmm. You know when you're calling it Truth though. I signed up. Oh, you're gonna get onto the. They don't even have like a mm-hmm. main page. How do you launch? This is a billion dollar fucking company <laughs> launching it. This is Trump's company. It's a billionaire, and he's designed this like a child. <laughs> What is this? Yeah, slow quality. The the little heading is follow the truth. Well, nice. can you wait for the fact when it gets leaked out, the database gets hacked? Like Parler and everything else. <laughs> it's like, that's the thing with all these like social media platforms that are just like built without like any form of security in mind. It's like it takes two weeks for all their database to just get leaked. Every time I see these like platforms, I think the other thing is, and it's like this is conspiratorial of me. I always think it's the FBI and like some psyop or whatever running it, you know, like Mm -hmm. some like federal agency has started a honeypot to like gather all these people together and they're just keeping tabs on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a social media platform because they do that shit. They do it like they do it when it comes to like entrapping people who are trying to look for like illegal material on the Internet. So it's like I, I don't put it past like imagine if the ATF tomorrow, it's like they were the ones behind like the largest 3d gun printing websites. And they were just cataloging who was downloading, who was downloading what. Mm-hmm. And they yeah, were, and they wouldn't be surprised. It, what, what if truth wasn't actually founded by Trump? What's Trump going to do? Tweet about it. Yeah. He's banned. He's banned. <laughs> exactly. What if he's getting paid like government hush money? It's like, all right, just keep attracting these guys. And Trump's like, sure thing, bro. Just don't <laughs> look too would Trump needs a TikTok like EDP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. It's like, imagine, imagine if Trump's getting like an actual investigation into like business. Business and the FBI is like, listen, you got two options: federal prison, oh. or you could just give us a back door. <laughs> y'all, y'all think Trump isn't like, oh shit, I'll give you the back door yes. any day, fucking. Why not? Yeah. Although, circling back to good TikTok content, Putin has like the best TikTok account ever. Have you seen Putin's TikTok? He has a TikTok? Putin's you, on TikTok? I've never you seen, haven't seen what? the Putin TikToks? He's so funny. Is it that one? Like, is it... The deep fakes? Is it actually... Oh, yeah, I've seen the deep fakes. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the deep fake stuff, yeah. but I'm like, is there an actual, like, President Putin? Oh, my God, I just opened TikTok? TikTok and my homepage is Putin. I'm actually freaking out. I hate when my phone does this. <laughs> it really? scares the crap out of me. I think it's because you're just religiously <laughs> watching Vladimir No, Putin. it's not. I'm telling you, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Well, what else do you watch on TikTok? I don't use TikTok. I just opened it and it was Putin. Oh my God, that's so terrifying. That's because they're spying on... Dude, I feel like that's the one app, like, Mm -hmm. that's... Because TikTok scrapes more data off your phone than even, like, I think Facebook does, like, right? Any other, like, social media service. It's actually really scary how much they, like, scrape off. Tencent. Tencent ByteDance. China moment. No, is it Tencent that owns it? Or, like, is it straight up, like... The government of China has like a one percent stake in TikTok. I think Tencent. I think Tencent's partially owned by the Chinese government. I think it's backdoored completely. Like I'll go a step further. Oh no but, like, doubt, dude. But with like me? with that though, what's uh? So you guys know how TikTok works in China in comparison to the U.S., right, or the rest of the no, world? Not really. So yet. in the rest of the world, TikTok is allowed to display the, co- oh. the content in whatever fashion, right? <clears throat> However, in China, if you're under eighteen. They will only play educational content for you for an hour a day or two hours a day on TikTok. No like educational way. content. They don't give all the crap to their kids, but they feed it to the rest so, of the that's world. That's genius. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, just so, so like, smart. Very smart. If we're going to bring conspiracy theories into it, like this is the smartest way to kill your fucking like competitors. Because like your kids are going <laughs> like to your kids are gonna grow up like. Fucking, ah, oh, let's talk about, like, 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 ten head, you know? Like, fucking, you, and you're turning the rest of the fucking into world's Steve kids into, like, it. brain dead. <laughs> yeah! It's like, you know. Goblin mode. It's like, it's like, it's like, you're gonna give them the XQC treatment where the kids through the other world are gonna be like, Cheeto. Like, that's my favorite XQC clip. I love it. Like, I'm, I'm surprised not many people have, like, seen Wait, it despite one? its popularity. It? The one where he, like, looks at a cheetah and for, like, five <laughs> seconds and he's like, 
Cheeto. You ever seen <laughs> no, that? I've never seen that. <laughs> oh, you've never seen the Cheeto no. clip? No fucking way. Oh my god. I love that. Oh my god. Who's your favorite streamer, Jonathan? I don't watch a ton of streamers, to to be honest. Um I probably Amaranth. Ninja. I don't know. Amaranth. <laughs> Amaranth. Ninja? Um, I do watch Jay Schlatt. I like, like Ninja. Schlatt. I probably yeah, Schlatt's funny. Yeah. Genuine Schlatt. answer, Jay Schlatt. I I so like when it comes to like Twitch streamers, and I feel like I'm definitely in the same market as Jonathan, where it's like I don't really have the patience to watch. Yeah, I don't. I don't exactly. Like yeah. I've, yeah. I'll like cycle through um, them. Like I like watching Matthew Santoro. He's streaming. I don't know. He he's does on stream. No. However, I watch him for a totally. I don't Do watch, watch him, him for the. I've seen your video on him. I sad. Yeah, I watched your video a long time ago. Channel where you were reality clip. checking him. I, oh, that wasn't even me. That was like a clip channel that re-uploaded it. Yeah, yeah. that one like fucking. I, I but, watched uh, that a long time ago. <laughs> I want to make an update to that. Yeah, I want to I make an update too. to that video, like on a main channel, like actually cover it because apparently he's a toxic motherfucker Wait, really? on Dead by Daylight. Actually... Oh yeah, he's like Damn. really to- he's like like he he's like he's full on like awesome. gamer mode. You know what, what I mean? What do you mean? Like <laughs> like how is he? How like in what way? How toxic? Yeah. Like we're talking like Vitaly handing out sandwiches to the homeless toxic, where oh he's like God. in a lobby. He's like, just back off, you fucking neurodivergents. I'm trying to fucking play this game here, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys suck. Like he's fucking just really. Yeah, wow. I don't know. He's a re- like he's like one of those channels where like I feel like you promote like positivity. Like you know, in your whole like channel, like hey oh guys, God, positive so gaming space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Five minutes into the stream, it's like all right, so the veneer is gone. Positive yeah. gaming yeah. space. I, don't, I will cancel like, you behind your back. I don't trust bag bald people, man. I don't trust bald. <laughs> I play too much Hitman for that, man. I trust me. I, I know. <laughs> But like I jump into it, something on the sides, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, like when I watch a Matthew Santoro video, it's like fucking the most deadpan, like top ten. Hey guys, you wouldn't believe the most rarest games to ever exist. Number one, Super mm-hmm. Mario Brothers. I'm like, whoa, calm down there, Matt. Mm-hmm. You're reading the wrong Wikipedia list on that one. <laughs> That's the most. Watch popular. Mojo. He's like, watch Mojo. But wait, bald. wait, didn't he get into drama like for just copying some guy's list? Like exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. he did. That was a yeah few times yeah a few yeah yeah he, he got in trouble because like i think it came from one website one fucking yeah website. cut to him saying he puts his heart and soul into his videos just oh god yeah well he got in that one like nicole arbor like this girl he used to date or something and yeah. he was like getting like abused by her or something which like yeah i i think that's when like i watched him like oh, i have sympathy for a guy like that like i mean he's being Same. honest mm-hmm. about it and then it's like it came out that he was just like Hey guys, I'm on top10.com. Better fucking print out my script for the next three months. I'm like, okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Good job, I guess. He also had all his stuff stolen, too. Wait, as what? Well. I don't know if you guys heard of that. He was like moving or something, and his man. moving van got stolen. Yeah. Damn. He lost all his Back stuff. I saw that, and I was like, nah, anyways. That's, next video <laughs> i had that almost happen with me though when i was moving into this place like fucking we were looking for moving companies and we came across one that uh actually was the most expensive moving company in my area and they had like the most shadiest shit going on yeah like usually i look at it by like price and like popularity i'm like oh if they're gonna charge you a fair bit and they're gonna tell you all this insurance maybe they won't fucking scam you but like eventually when i googled their name up it was like the next three results were like moving scam, moving scam, review, moving scam. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> probably not smart not enough to go down sign. that way. No, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not good it's on not that. What you want to see? <laughs> and it's like I don't have plenty of shit anyway. So like, I got so paranoid that I put oh. all of like my important stuff into my like car, and mm-hmm. like bar- my car could barely fit anything. So I was like, I was just like driving it, like scrunched up on the driver's seat all the way to my new house. Like, <laughs> Although fucking... I would argue that getting your car broken into, it's just part of the experience of living in a big city. You know? Dude, when he, when fucking Rogan said that shit, like, yeah, Seth, <laughs> Los Angeles Seth is Rogan. a, Seth, let's be honest, <laughs> LA must be a shithole because I parked my car in the worst parts of Toronto know, and I've never had it broken into That's once. That's a very pessimistic mindset, okay? Maybe they'll leave you a knife or something in there. You never know. Yeah, maybe they would leave you the evidence. You're like, you're right. Maybe they would leave you like evidence of a murder or some shit in your car. And he's like, he's like, oh, I just leave my car parked outside. And I'm like, you know, like that's a very douchey like Hollywood thing of you to say. 
But then again, like, I believe that in Los Angeles. This is the only city where I've had a crackhead show me his, like, cock and balls in West Hollywood. But that must have like, really struck you. I feel like you mentioned that yeah. every episode. It's like, it did <laughs> scar me. <laughs> How many times must I say it? Sc- it scars every me. Heard you are in the darkness. Like, you we, have to. We, we I know to get the story. You have like, to. I haven't heard. I want to hear the story. I, well, give you, me the clip. There's a lock on the Airbnb. You walk outside your fucking Airbnb in West Hollywood. There's a spigot there. There is a. There is a. Lock. There, the door didn't lock. Everything. We were just outside. I'm waiting for this Uber to show up. This like, this hobo like crackhead level ten raid boss in West Hollywood shows up with his cock out hanging, uh-huh. and I'm like, I look at him, and I, I remember in my head, all right, like this is the one piece of advice that flowed into my ears. All right, it was like, pretend this is like a tiger situation. You gotta like look into its eyes. You can't like look away, otherwise you will be attacked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I stared yeah. this man down. And I looked, I looked at his dick for one second because it was exposed. Because I was like, okay, okay, all right, this, this is what. I, and it was huge. Was it, it was big. It was, was big? it was a. Okay. It was fucking man was hung like a horse. What can I say? <laughs> so credit where credit is due. Yeah. Credit is where yeah. credit is due. The man was piping. He was a. Uh, he, he, he had a, he had an old dong on him. But uh, I looked at him there, and uh, immediately I'm at him like, why are the pants removed? Like, I, yeah. Like, you're trying to, like, process why. Like, was he yeah. just pissing recently? It's like, he had pants that were just, like, well below where they should have been. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> eventually, like, the Uber started coming. But as you maintain eye contact, the guy eventually, like, retreats into the darkness and, like, <laughs> backs away. The story doesn't what? get old. It just doesn't get old. He was also washing his ass, right? With your Dude, that was another one. That was the what? day before. Wait, what? A different no, 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 no. That, that was not. No. Guy? That it was, was a, no, the day guys, before oh my God. this was a day Dude, before, yeah, so the, into this? back to back, <laughs> the day before, what, no, 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 this is the Saturday night, a homeless guy that was washing his like asshole in front of the door. The Sunday night was a night I had to go to like Justin Wang's like little get together. And that's the Uber I was waiting for. And that's the dude with the dick hanging out that I was mm. seeing. I saw two pairs of balls that weekend. Wow. Beyond wow, my, okay. Like obviously weekend. testicles. Yeah. Okay, yeah, honestly, Jude and West. Is, this is cool. I I think we're learning more I'm lore. I thought Hollywood. this was the same story. <laughs> I, this was the I was about to message Hassan. I'm like, bro, guess who's the socialist in town? I'm sharing my water. We should. What we about should, you? We should find out where Hassan lives and then text him and say, "Hey, look out your window." You know, all just well, it's funny because we were in the same neighborhood, West Hollywood, right? Like that's where he moved into. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I, I almost wanted to mess him. Like, haha, I guess who's a real oh. fucking socialist now, asshole? I'm the one chair. <laughs> what his about speed. you, I, dude? I, I feel like Hassan has invested in like a door lock, at least, like a gate lock, mm-hmm. of like the person who was running that Airbnb. Which, by the way, this is the same street that the Jake Pauls, like Jake Paul, got kicked out of, which is what mm-hmm. I found out. Oh my god, the pool street, <laughs> the, pool, the same pool street, the <laughs> same uh, place, historic place. <laughs> my favorite. Yeah, team. Oh my god, Crackhead Lane is Although, what I'm going to call it because, mm-hmm. like, you, I, I remember the visualization so well with like this man and waiting for the Uber. It's like he's in the darkness and to the left of it. It's like the perfect like Los Angeles capture: homeless man with dick hanging out right next to a $200,000 Porsche take can mm-hmm. like legit, like a fucking Porsche just parked out on the street. I'm like, we, I, this is the most opulent neighborhood. One of the most <laughs> opulent neighborhoods in fucking California. Uh-huh. And this man's just out like hunting for water. Like it's Minecraft. I'm like, good fucking job on that one. I almost felt like I, mean, I was the hobo in that, you know, like this man is living the most the free life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that man is living a free life. Mm-hmm. Dude gets to hang out with his dick and balls running around West Hollywood, yeah. and I'm part of the system. I gotta pay money to the tax man. I gotta be part of the system. This man has escaped the system. I'm in the Matrix. This man is in fucking Zion. Okay, he's, he's like a stage pill. above. Yeah, dude, he's like free <laughs> from the system. That's kind of like, man, this is yeah. this is America in a nutshell. This is true freedom. You know, mm-hmm. true this man freedom. is not. Yeah. Can- Canada could never transiency. No, Canada I can mean, never nuts because in Canada, Canada the homeless will he die. Free, he freezes freeze balls off. He would, he would not survive. Though to be fair, oh, where I live, we have homeless encampments in the woods. Like I didn't know this, but like in the mountains up here, like in the woods, there's like legit like oh, homeless colonies. Like, oh, well, because we do have houses are super expensive here, so it's like even the people yeah. that are homeless yeah. are like they're they're not like homeless by choice. They're smart people, but like 
they have like entire like colonies and like groups like cities out there like tent cities communes more yeah well it's like, i think i i mean like they they kind of like retreat into the woods like that too so it's like the first thing i did when i moved here was like i went to a bar and i kind of like started talking about the town it's like and one of the one of the bartenders were like just don't go near the woods i'm like why is there like a cult it's like no there's just not like a homeless tent city there but you don't want to get fucking mugged and shit i'm like that's kind of like i kind of want to see that though like it's kind of like you know it's I, I always find that to be impressive. Like, I'm not saying it to be an asshole, but I find it to be like really kind of like a cool micro government, a micro community, if you will, that's formed. In that sense, I kind of <laughs> think it's really interesting. I don't know. Lord of the Flies. I type still think government. one of the coolest things that ever happened in America was Chaz. Do you remember Chaz? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Capitol Hill Autonomous mm-hmm. Zone. That was Chaz. Well. Yeah. <laughs> was that the Portland? That was, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, it was during the uh, the George Floyd protests. The, yeah. yeah, yeah, the George Floyd protests. Like they made their own little city. Like they declared freedom yeah. in like six. So wait, did they actually form. have? Did they actually have like an autonomous zone? Like the government just At didn't the jump time. in. Well, they did for yeah. a while, but they were like killing each other, so they ended up like okay, yeah. Their whatever, whole thing. And I could be misremembering some of this, but it was like they didn't have police, but then people within that like little society sort of like elected themselves as police or whatever because the people had guns ended up yeah so they had guns and somebody ended up getting shot they start burning their passports and cards and ids bad (laughs) i don't remember all the details but yeah it was crazy it was a wild time yeah Yeah. those protests like when when i'm hearing of like because i knew the autonomous zone was a thing but i usually thought it was like a protest zone like a truck protest like they just had like a zone that they kind of took over for a bit and the government was like, all right, we'll let you have your fun. Okay, it's been like, it's been a while. Let's send in the fucking cattle. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's like the RCMP. It's like, you've had your fun. Now it's time to crack some skulls in. Like I saw one of the protesters, they were getting their asses like rammed in with a rifle butt. I'm like, shit, they ain't not, they are not screwing around is what I, the Canadians do not fuck around is what I've seen when it comes to like protesting and shit. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Although I do like your uh, your ass washing story because I feel like there's memes like little stories that keep coming up on the podcast and we need to have some sort of counter like how many episodes did we mention uh, hobos washing their asses in front of your a- Airbnb Umpi's cult and me getting canceled I feel like those are like three those, those haven't come up in a while though to be fair true, yeah but your cult isn't been washing any... their assholes on your spigot though they got their own spigot. true that's why yeah, that's, that's why yours reigns supreme i'll invite him over <laughs> i want to i want you to do like an interview with your cult like i want you to like I, I love how we say it's his cult head. like he's a possessive owner <laughs> the leader of the cult <laughs> no i'm not affiliated with the cult in any way what, is there just like a cult around you or like what there is the yeah so, are they like dude it's not people? no they're um <laughs> <laughs> You're to right explain, words. really. Yeah, yeah. So I live in a city, right? And then I have property that's like 30 minutes away. It's 80 oh. acres. And right behind my 80 acres is a cult that uh, the police, when, when we were like, I was planning on building a house on that property. The police like told us like, be careful. Don't let women go out at night. Like if you're a girl and you're alone, don't go out at night. Uh, because there's been like a lot of misconduct in regards to this one property with these people that don't that's like a communal you can say thing. blood they have like their, sacrifice i mean it's fine they make their own food exactly they have like their own food the good uh, news is if you if you're a dude there is great news they're all crazy homophobes so you'll be fine <laughs> so wait they make their own dance or co-ops homophobes. like foods yeah they, they have a, a brand of food that they make and you can you can buy online right now it's like a nuts and berries and whatnot that's the um that's the like the their front is that they make like health foods oh my god this is so cool there's been like 12 um 12 (laughs) sexual misconduct like from people that have worked for them 12 sexual misconduct charges wow on that like one place not sure how they're still in business dude i could use some sesame sesame tahini with some rc cola it's not good i I actually bought some of their shit This is not that good. <laughs> no, it's terrible. <laughs> it's way too healthy. The stuff that they do appears to be very, um, like, influenced by, like, the Maharishi. Like, very yoga okay. type stuff. Like, that type of cult levels. You know how all the sex stuff with the Maharishi, like, many years ago. Yeah. Very, it's, it seems to be in the same vein as that. Dude, they got curry power wraps. This shit looks disgusting. Fuck! Oh, uh, it's so nasty. It's so gross. Uh, yeah, there's an actual cult. And the police, the craziest thing was the police, like, told us about it. That's where it kind of becomes, like, a, 
more than just like a joke. So you feel you like know? if the cops yeah. warn you about it, do they like don't they shouldn't they do anything about it? Like shouldn't they go in and like they've gone yeah, in being, a lot of they're times. They're being paid off with sesame tahini. <laughs> <laughs> they give them jalapeno cheese wraps. That's how you get rid of the five zero in Sydney, Texas. <laughs> so where are they getting? The, they won't be making serious bribe money then. Like fuck. <laughs> What could I get away with? <laughs> <laughs> I'm contributing. Well, I mean, if this is a successful business, as they claim, this has got to be like a pretty significant portion for that town's economy then. They kind of got to be running. <laughs> they just yeah, invite the cops the to the rowdy girl sanctuary. A <laughs> town with 200 people, a certain percentage of them belong to this one enterprise. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Fuck that. It's like there's a uh, suppressor manufacturer in that town and then... Wait, like a gun suppressor made fat? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my God. It's, it really is. That's so <laughs> Texan. It's like you can have a gun. What if we like sent this to like EDP and shit or like Nico Cotto? It's like, here, try this. Try this. Uh, try. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of Nick Ocado, he uh, died. Uh, I said something about having a sleepover. No, in Texas, I asked if anyone in Texas wanted to have a sleepover. Ironically, of course, I don't want to have a sleepover. I'm 25. All right. Mm -hmm. And Meat Canyon said me and Nick Ocado and tagged him. And then Nick Ocado said how much? Oh! And I was like, 10 grand, bro. 10 grand. I'll pay you $10,000 to come to my house if we can film a video. And he has yet. He, hold on. He said he's going to need more or something like that. And then I sent him a picture. I told him like he could ride my little red bicycle wow, that I've okay. got. Oh, you just want to make content um, sick fuck. You just want to make bro, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for him to follow me and then DM me. He's already made, he made, he made a video on me, followed me for like five minutes and tweeted at me a bunch. And I showed him pictures of my lizards and stuff. And, um, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't have any lizards, but. Oh, you went on Google he, Images. Not like, yet. Not yet. Well, no, there was this lizard that I found and it bit my finger. And I took a picture of it. Oh, oh hell yeah. So. I have to sneeze really bad. Sorry. Well, you should. <laughs> I, I, I feel like you should. I feel like, I mean, what if you want more? 10 grand is a fair amount to be fucking paying for, for a sleepover. Mm -hmm. of all places. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. I, if if I get him to do it, I'm going to make a bunch of videos with him. And then I'm also going to force him to guest host on this podcast in my room. Dude. Yes. Oh, that would make <laughs> my day. I, I, I just I love, love how much. he's like, he's just such a villain. It's like he knows his role. Yeah, he fits it he really so is. well. Did you see his Joker video? Like he made a, a video legend, just like a week ago where he's like two steps ahead. I am just yeah. two steps that ahead. Is horrifying. What if it comes out that <laughs> it's just like? Planning. What if it comes out he's I mean, got he the most? I mean, he can't walk more than two steps. So what if it's just... like? What if he just has like a really elaborate fat suit, and we just didn't know the whole time? Like he's just like super elaborate, like one of the world's most highly six million dollar engineered fat suits. Or this is a Nico Cotto clone that he's willing to sacrifice to the gods for content, and he's just actually <laughs> hiding he's behind. Max ahead. Yeah, this is like a U.S. Army operation to create the ultimate like fucking <laughs> fat suit like and shit. That's just what it is. I, I feel I don't know, man. Nico, like for somebody that's got to have like that much of a plan, he must be like the ultimate because he's like he knows his nutrition. Like the funniest thing is, it's like mm -hmm. you can you can shit on him all you want, but the man knows what he's putting into his body. Yeah, he really yeah. does. So it's like, is he just going to get really fat and then ultimately try to just like lose it all? Like it's possible, but like... Absolutely. He's going to go the TLC route. Absolutely. There's no he's going to come back and just be chiseled and fucking normal. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, he, still, he still uses like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> like the five-year-old picture on his Twitter profile. Like, what if he loses all of his weight and he's like, God, all you fat, disgusting people. I was once one he of absolutely you. absolutely will do but that. But now I'm chiseled and rich, and I'm not like the other disgusting insects walking on the ground. I love that quote from him. When he's that, on that's, a, that's, yeah. Dude, when he's in his... Have you guys seen his wiener? Oh, I've, uh, I my brother sent me that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Looks like a baby's arm holding an apple. Yeah. Bro, his... <laughs> Bro, he's like a like my brother sent me this one clip from his like OnlyFans that was like leaked on Reddit mm -hmm. or something. I'm just gonna yeah. think my brother paid for his OnlyFans. Like it's yeah. whatever. Like, Probably it makes yeah. two of us. I mean, I, I, you can lie to me all he wants, but I feel like somebody having that like 4K print ready available. <laughs> you you, uh, you had access. You had you had the best. The bussy. Yeah, he had he had access to the bus. He had quite a direct line. But like he sent me this one video, and it's like fucking. He's just like, all right, boys. Uh, here's my food. Here's Orland's ass, and it's like literally his husband. He's like slapping it, 
And he's like, and this is my cock. And I'm like, whoa, dude, what? Okay, At like zero yeah. to 60, man. And his, yeah, man. It, his, they get into some shit on that. His channel. dick looked like a fucking, like, uh, like just, it was like, it, it just looked like a sock with like eight balls stuck into it from what I've seen. Like, just like, it was just like a stuffed mm-hmm. sock. I was like, man, this is red. It's a, it's a if weird. If he does become thing. ripped though, like he would have actually big brained the entire internet. Like he, he would have actually will. been like he? two steps ahead the whole time. <laughs> Like Dude, I would, I, I would unironically fucking like, I would, I would like pledge my allegiance to that man. That would be like the fucking <laughs> greatest troll on the internet. Like he could do it so easily. Now I'm sexy and rich. You really think I like watching poor people easily? struggle? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it takes. I think it like, I don't know if it takes. I think to be able to mukbang, because it's his like job, mm-hmm. right? He only started gaining yeah. weight when he started mukbanging, so it takes. It has to take discipline to do that. I imagine it takes it, it would require the same it seems like a choice you know as opposed to people who just have a terrible diet and they grow up and they get really fat he's done it like by choice which youtuber mm-hmm. made 300 pounds as a tax write-off you mean like if he loses <laughs> all of it it'll be like what boogie tried to do years ago but didn't succeed at him because that's the that's the one thing with boogie right like he had like the but no well actually it's different because boogie tried to do like the whole weight loss thing and, did uh, he do liposuction? He did. He did the gastric bypass. I'm pretty sure. Oh. And like bariatrics. That's what it is. It was something that's like they cut a piece of your stomach and like staple it. Yeah, yeah mm. he did that one. But the thing is, like, he kind of made like weight loss like a goal on the channel and didn't go through with it. Nico hasn't done that yet. He's just like straight up saying it's just mm-hmm. water weight. So I feel like. Well, I mean, he's, yeah, I think, he's done the opposite. He's like, yeah. could we get to 400 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> Smash <laughs> that like button. <laughs> yeah. I think he's disciplined, very disciplined. He had surgery recently. I'm wishing him for the wishing the best for him. Wait, Nico Cotto? Mm-hmm. Wait, did he have bariatric surgery? I don't think so. I don't think he would need to have uh, bariatric surgery. Yeah, because he's not like um because he's only three fifty. I mean, that's not like morbid. That's uh, morbid obese, but it's not like that, that's not that's not like you're not TLC like fucking you know levels. No, no, six hundred yeah. pounds. Yeah. You're not you're not getting close to that show yet. Well, it's funny how like when Nico mm-hmm. Cotto, because I feel like he does like if he has discipline, what I think is really fucked up is he does a lot of like drive by fattenings to all the other people he collaborates with. Because like you ever see like some of the people that join him, right? Like a year ago, they're yeah. like hungry fat chick. Well, she's different because she came in as the hungry fat chick. But like yeah. if you ever look at some other random people, like they look like they look fucking perfect a year ago, and after a year of yeah. collaborations, it's like. They tubbed up. <laughs> they got tubbed up. They look oh, like man. a Crisco fucking advertisement. Like, Jesus Christ. Man. Dude, Hungry Fat Chick worries me. I watched her on her channel make uh, fettuccine, and she was out of breath stirring pasta. Oh, this is Well, so how, mu- how much That's pasta was it, though? Come on now. That That's what they rigorous. call hunting for your food, my friend. White, ca- yeah, well... I, I just Simulated I just opened up her channel. She punch. said White Castle mukbang in my new apartment. And there's a lot of things wrong with this. Okay, first off, Sad. who the fuck is mukbanging White Castle? I've had White Castle a few times. <laughs> it's fine when you're drunk, but there ain't no way I'm eating this shit sober. Ain't no way I'm even uploading a video telling people to eat this shit. I feel like that's a. Fu- I would rather tell people to smoke crack cocaine than eat fucking White <laughs> that's, Castle. That's a human rights violation. Yeah, she should be like fucking arrested and put in the fucking hate. Like the UN should be involved in this. How bad it Maybe is. Not. But like the funniest thing about it, like I'm watching, I'm watching a video right now. She has not dropped one crumb of this. <laughs> Not one crumb has been eating. gone. Like, if it's, you know how, like, when I grew up, my parents were like, be thankful for the food that you have. There's people in the world that don't have that food. And I live my entire life never wasting food because I'm like, that's what I grew up with. I feel like she got the exact same thing. And she's like, when I order 300 fucking sliders, I'm eating those 300 sliders. Not one is going in the fridge. Not one is being given away to the needy. It's all going mm-hmm. in me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, this is fucking an insane amount. But, like, she offsets it because she's drinking water on the side instead of a sugary drink. That's healthy. That is healthy. She's got kombucha, which I don't really fucking 
what is kombucha again? Like, is it like it's a nasty tea that people think is healthy? When when you, I think there's like studies too. When you drink kombucha and have a normal diet and don't have enough fiber, it actually increases your chances of colorectal cancer. Okay, so dude, why do you have to find that study? <laughs> awesome. Okay, you went to yeah. WebMD to find that one. Okay, no, I did not go to WebMD to find that one. <laughs> oh, wait, she does something cool, bro. She does like rich people mukbangs, uh, high people? end steakhouse dining at oh home. Oh my god, does she? Okay. Please tell me she wears hash. Hassan's Eat the Rich merch. That no, would she, actually be like she, the best <laughs> thing ever. I mean, I don't want to be an asshole, but I think Hassan sells in that size, which is very fat phobic of him. But uh, yeah, she went to like Gordon Ramsay's steak and bought a well. Dude, I haven't eaten a fucking Gordon Ramsay steak. You're telling me these motherfuckers are on here doing fucking $250 mukbangs? What is this, bro? What? The- Dude, how are you eating a Wellington and you have potato chips on the side? No, watch this fucking video. I'm not even. You guys can open this up and like just click on like seven minutes in. What is that plate? Okay. It looks like Wellington, all right, with like potato chips, like Lay's tater chips. Like, mm. what the fuck? <laughs> It looks good. It does. The, the steak do look good. I'm scared to eat the mm. tartare. It's literally raw. Oh yeah, but God. that's like, that's one of her channels. I, you know, honestly, in her case, like, I hope she, I don't know. I mean, survives. I, I hope she, I hope she like, yeah, she, she goes against. Doesn't this, die. Yeah. I hope the death part doesn't happen because it's like, I can only imagine how fucking fucked up the human body is inside on that one. You know? Yeah. There's, I mean, it's not like physiologically, it's not supposed to happen. Like, it's pretty obvious. Four out of five dentists would not recommend. Yeah, four, ten out of ten nutritionists would definitely not fucking recommend. <laughs> yeah, <cardiologist. laughs> yeah, she poor she heart. Could, she could afford. She could afford to like definitely not go. It's like I don't know. Anytime I see mukbang content, it's like I don't. I don't get the appeal. I have never have. Like, yeah. I I, yeah. I initially everyone was like, it's supposed to kill your urges. If anything, it makes me want to eat more. Makes me hungry mm-hmm. as shit. Yeah. Like right now, she's like Popeyes, spicy fried chicken. I can't look at that because now I want fucking Popeyes. Oh, I want Popeyes dude. right now. You just saying that makes me want fucking Popeyes, <laughs> dude. She's like Korean fried. I've cheese. learned. I I need to eat right before we record this podcast because I know otherwise I will be starving by the end of it. Okay, because I'm talking about the heart. Here, here's something that'll make you not want to eat: heart attack grill at home. Oh hell yeah, thanks, man. But she's got like a, she's got a 72 ounce fucking burger. Okay, I don't care who you are. Ain't no one eating that. When you start, when you dip your onion rings into a full bucket of Hellman's mayonnaise, that ain't happening. Okay, that's when you're like, that's too much. It's a little, a little too much at once. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty much. I want to, I want to leave the mukbang Mm -hmm. out there. I feel like. I feel like I want the best for everyone over here. Like every time somebody uploads a video and it's like Nico Kato is gonna die, I'm like, all right, what? What's Mm -hmm. what's the what what's what's the non like, you know? Spicy yeah. take, I guess. Yeah, I, I love when the videos are like new developments. Nick Akato Avocado is still fat. It's like okay. Dude. Well, on the other end, you get that Eugenia Cooney chick or whatever that people love yeah. to make videos on, where it's like, oh my god, she's like, well, a lot of people want to remove from the platform because she's See, apparently that's weird. spreading. That's really weird. Thins like like eating disorders or something. She, she's anorexic, right? Like she has in John, have you ever so. considered doing a video? You've done a video on Eugenia. On right? Eugenia? Um yeah. I really haven't looked into her that much. I know there's like a lot of discourse surrounding her and her um, E D. I don't know enough about her though, honestly, to really say I know some people like I, I don't know if the solution is kicking her off the platform, you know. Mm-hmm. You know weird. It's yeah, like is really that gonna weird. stop her? Like I, I don't I don't know. I I, I wish I, I knew more fans- about it. Well, you go to Fans those same so people. Weird. You go to those same people, and it's like, shouldn't Nico Kato be taken off the platform for promoting self harm? And they're like, no, you're being like. Well, I had one person like, you're being like kind of fat phobic when you say. It. I'm like, how? I'm like, anybody mm-hmm. on an extreme end of the weight cycle is kind of ultimately, you know, if they're like promoting it, mm-hmm. it's kind of self harm, right? Like, it's not okay to be like rail thin skinny. It's also not okay to be like, you know, fucking. Can't fit through More the door. Yeah. Can't fit through yeah, the door. You, you don't want to look like you don't want to look like Meat Canyon's cartoons. You know. Yeah, you want to look like a normal, <laughs> level-headed human being. And before somebody gets mad, it's like, Moody, you have weird standards for normality. Yes, normal human being. Okay. All right. If you look like a human, if you look like what you, if you look like the Wikipedia definition of a human being, you're pretty fucking normal. Okay. Anything Hell deviating yeah. from that, you're on an extreme end. Okay, come on. Now. If you can stand up for more than eight hours, you're good. <laughs> That's true. What? Because if you're too skinny, you can't. If you're too fat, you can't. That's like the general rule for like 
cardiovascular health. If you can stand up for an entire work day, you're healthy. Interesting. We'll, do that. well, I mean, with the Eugenie Cooney thing, I think that there's a lot of weirdness when it comes to like large fandoms that want the best for their, <clears throat> you know, whoever they're looking up to, to the point that they become toxic. Did you see there was this whole drama this last week? Oh, VTuber news, guys. Woo! Right, uh, Rushia, it, Rushia, a Hololive member. Hololive is like the big Japanese VTuber corporation. Mm-hmm. So Rushia is one of the big VTubers in that corporation. And she was seen with a dude. And her fans like absolutely lost their shit. That she had she a was, fucking... Like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. She had a boyfriend? That, yeah, what, are you unsubscribing? Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm blocking that bitch. What is this? So, so her community got, <laughs> not, got completely crazy. Now, the major difference is Japanese VTuber groups like Hololive, they treat their VTubers like idols. And in idol mm-hmm. culture, they, they don't have boyfriends. They don't get married. because mm-hmm. they're it's like, like BTS. They really don't have boyfriends, yeah. right? Like... Yeah, exactly. And th- to the point that just a month ago, she did a, a merch drop where she literally sold engagement rings to her audience. Okay. Dude, that sounds like, like something out of <laughs> South Park. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, it's because they, they milk that parasocial shit. What? They milk the That's parasocial weird. thing so much. I'm going to sell an engagement <laughs> ring now. What the hell? <laughs> hell yeah, dude. I'm going to be like, all right, boys, I'm going to get fucking e-married right now. <laughs> hell yes. Let's go. And if oh, I get canceled right. for it, I'm That's like, cool. oh, so that so that cartoon character could fucking do it, but I can't? Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> her mer- that yeah. must have sold like crazy. Yo, her merch is fucking pricey, dude. Uh, yeah. She's selling a yeah. fucking teacup for $97. Eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ain't no one got $97 for your fucking teacup. No, I'm telling you, man, the, the Japanese VTuber world is very, very idolish. It's like the whole... They, they market it to the parasocial nature of fans. Hmm. Like, they aim for that, specifically. But yeah, they eat that um, shit up over there. It's like the BTS, like, it's like idol. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They just... This is like... This is like people who live in a society where it's like it's good to be part of the pack, but they want to live vicariously through like one person that's carefully curated, you know? One PNG. Yeah, like so she one was getting like the most insane amount, like crazy death threats, and like she was trending on Twitter for like two days. <laughs> like people were going nuts. Bro, what, like, it's like, <laughs> just because she just because she was with a guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How did that even come it's like, out? How did they come out? You know, I don't know. You know the Pokemon boyfriend drama? It's like that, but like turned to like an 11, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> it was like really nuts. People went batshit insane. Even Ludwig made a video about it. <laughs> Dude, I want to fucking we make a video about it. I want to kind of look. I'm like, God damn, can't have a boyfriend in Japan? Shit. Jesus. Or who, yeah, or who was... are Rushia? That is. So Rushia is, yeah, yeah. Her one quote, I'm not going to do it, is like, not flat, I'm boing, boing, Urua, Rushia. This is as Japanese as it gets. Nux, Jesus that, that, she says that. That's like her catchphrase. I'm, I'm boing, boing. Uh, she's <laughs> boing, boinging her career if she hangs out with too many boys slutting around Tokyo, I guess. Pain. It's not okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna. We're gonna leave it on that one. One thing I will say is, uh, surprisingly, in a turn of events, we are coming out with engagement rings at some point in the future. Yes. <laughs> so if you want to marry so everyone, even you one of our guests, you can pick your bachelor. Yeah, you, you can pick which one of these fine degenerates you want to marry. <laughs> wow, pick it up. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna tie off this episode. Thank you, Jonathan, for coming on. Thank you for having me. And I want to thank. Uh, first off, you want to plug a social or whatever if you feel like. Uh, my YouTube. Is just Jay Aubrey, and then my Twitter and Instagram that I don't use is Jay Aubrey YT. Oh, you exactly. use Twitter. And if he unfollows you on Twitter, I don't use it's Instagram. Not he I, hates I use Twitter. You. <laughs> what was that? Nice? And if, he, if he unfollows you on Twitter, it's not it, because it, he hates it you. It is not. <laughs> It is definitely I, not. But uh, yeah, and this is my co-host Nox, who's actually felt personally slighted by an unfollow. And uh, if you ever do follow Nox, <laughs> make sure you never hit that do unfollow, not unfollow button. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it, it's happened. It's happened. There, people unfollow me. It's like, oh, wait, we know that this one person doesn't like you. So I am now going to unfollow you and slander you because... It's a weird world. You're on di- you're on discount House of Cards. Let's not pretend Twitter I, is anything Twitter, else. Twitter <laughs> Twitter is discount House of Cards. Yeah. And you've got Umpi, who's a man that does not care about Twitter, but will pay ten grand. It's not to true a, at all. To a mukbang idol sensation. 
to come sleep over at his house. <laughs> Just <laughs> Hassan, Hassan didn't follow him back right away after the podcast. He was like, oh, dude, Hassan. That was a meme. I know, I know. <laughs> and uh, this is me, the man that just fucking hates Twitter because uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate the trending tab. Goddamn, let me tell you, it brings a sadness to my day. But uh, thank you all for showing up. You have a good one, and uh, we are.